You currently join us stood in Peg 1 on Bramley Lake, which is our second largest specimen lake on the complex. Bramley has 12 swims and will hold 8 anglers during any session. There's around 130 plus carp in this lake, ranging from the low double figure mark up to the high 30 pound mark. The average depth in Bramley ranges from around 5 to 7 foot, with around the islands you get depths of around 3 foot out in Peg 1, whereas down the far end you will get depths much deeper of around 5 foot straight off the islands. Through the channel, through Peg 1, you've got depths of around 5.5 foot, whereas when you come back this way more towards the, the margins, you will find the deeper parts such like around 6 foot mark. I'm now stood out just in front of Peg 1 on Bramley Lake. We thought we'd just go a little bit more in depth with how deep it is around these areas. As I butt right up against the island, you're getting depths of around just under two foot. However, as I start to move away to around half a rod length off the island, I am now getting a little bit more deeper with depths of around three foot here. As I move out another sort of six foot or so, I'm then getting depths of around five foot, which is now at the bottom of this shelf. However, on the front of these islands, you do get depths of around one to two foot for quite a little while coming out to around a rod length where it then does start to drop out and go into the deeper water, which runs around this island at around five to six foot. You now join me in Peg 4 on Bramley, where as you can see, to the left of me is Peg 3's water with lots of channels and also nice islands to go at. Through the middle of the channels, you get depths of around six foot, Whereas when you come back up to the islands, the shallowest areas you'll find is around three foot. As I come this way, you'll find a natural rubbing spot just underneath this tree here. And the same on the other side in line with the dead tree, both on the end of the islands. As I then move towards Peg 5's water, you get the nice channel through the middle, which again is around six or seven foot in depth. And then as you make your way even further along, you then have the nice undercut island, which is about four to five foot in depth with many snags that the fish can sit in and you can fish up to safe. I'm now stood out in front of pegs four and five on Bramley. I'm just gonna show you one of the good spots within this swim. As you can see, when I'm right up against the island, I am only getting around a foot in depth here. However, as I do come about a quarter of a rod length off the island, it does drop quite quickly into around three foot of water. There's then also a big rubbing spot here, which is natural for them. It's around four foot of depth here, so it does come off quite quickly, and then you're in within this hole. However, as you do come this way, it does come up quite quickly, and then you're then getting depths of around three foot. So this hole is about a foot deeper than the rest of the lake. As I continue to come this way, you then start to drop off into the much deeper water, and you're starting to get around five foot in depth here, where it's then going to start to level out, and you're going to get depths of six to seven foot out in the middle again. I'm now on the last island out in front of Peg 5. This island is very uniform the whole way around and as you can see I'm not able to get in here as the water is literally just under 5 foot. As I move slightly out it continues as 5 foot until we get to around here and it does start to drop off again. I'm getting depths of just under 6 foot here so it's much deeper here than the other islands as I'm now only about half a rod length off. It then starts to drop down into the deeper water and levels out into the six, seven foot depth that is uniform throughout the lake. You now join me in Peg 6 on Bramley Lake, where as you can see, to the left hand side of the swim, you have some very heavily vegetated margins with willow and bamboo lining throughout. You can often see the fish knocking the bamboo throughout the day, and sometimes if you do take a walk around there, you can also hear it rustling as well. The depths in the margin range from around three foot, and you can find some deeper areas there as well, up to around five foot. As you move through to the channel, this is slightly silty, but it's very hard silt, which means it's easily fishable on, and the fish do love to feed in it. You then move to the right hand side of the swim, where you've got some more vegetation as well, with some nice big shrubs hanging over the lake, where the fish love to hide. And if you can get a rig in there, it's always a good chance you can have a fish. You now join me in Peg 9 on Bramley, which as you can see, is a very, very central swim on the lake. To my right, there is an old tree which had been ripped out a few years ago, which has created a small hole in the island where the fish do love to sit. There's also, again, undercuts in this island where the fish will hold up throughout the year, and if you can get a rod nice and tight, there's a good chance of a bite. Again, through the channels, you've got the average depth in the lake of around six or seven foot within this area. 
As you move to the left hand side of the swim, you have some nice big overhangs, which are slightly deeper, where the fish do like to get in there and we do see them bubbling up. You now join me in peg 11 on Bramley, which backs onto the orchard behind. As you can see behind me, you've got the face of the island, which peg 11 does command as it is in its water. To the right of the swim, you've got a nice bamboo bed where the fish do love to hold up and is actually a very neglected part of the swim. You then move to the middle island again and down the left hand side of this is where peg 10 patrols. The fish do like to get right up tight in there and when we've removed snags before, you can smell the slime from the fish on it. You then move into peg 12's water, which again is a shallower end. However, in the summer and especially then warmer days in the winter, the fish do love to get down here and can often see bubbling through the channel and up against the islands. Well there we go guys, that was just a quick overview of Bramley. As you can see, tomorrow right, there is a net dip and we do expect everyone to dip their nets, slings and mats before fishing in the lake. This is to keep the fish safe and also stop any disease from coming from anywhere else. If you need any more information on the lake, you can give us a call on the bailiff's number on 07703 825 064 or alternatively, you can text us on any of our social medias on Facebook and Instagram.